Hi guys, this is Ashraf. So on this video, I will be showing you guys on how to flash your Arduino firmware by using Octoprint. This is especially for 3D printing side because Octoprint is a network platform for 3D printer so that you are able to access. It is a server on local network only. So by either transporting your PC or the printer to one another just to flash the firmware, it's a tedious job because you need to clear up the table to accommodate either your computer or the 3D printer. So by using this network print, also to test some several settings for your Marlin firmware or some other firmware out there that are designed specifically for your board there. So let's get started. Okay. Currently, we are viewing the 3D printer. It is connected through the network by using Topai, and the IP address are shown at the LCD panel there, 192.168.0.230 there. So what are we going to do is to connect through SSH. I am using Windows over here. I am using Party, and I'm going to open the connection. Login. So the first thing you need to do is to install AVR Dude. sudo apt-get install AVR Dude. Now this software AVR Dude is a tool for you to flash firmware to most of the 8 mega base chip. So I got this AVR Dude installed previously. What's next is to stop the Octoprint server. sudo service octoprint stop. So currently it is stopped. You might have noticed that the LCD has been changed. Is it? It stays there. So next is to generate the hex file. The hex file is what we need to use to flash the firmware. So navigate through your firmware and then open the .ino file. For example, over here is marlin.ino. I am using the latest Arduino IDE over here. Wait for it to launch and then make sure that you are using the correct board for your setup, the processor as well. So what's next is usually we use the upload button over here, but instead we're going to use the sketch and then export compiled binary. So over here, it will verify that the Marlin codes able to work properly. And then it will export the Marlin into .hex file. It will export two types. One is without the bootloader, one is with bootloader. So we are going to use the one without bootloader included. Okay, we have done on making the hex file from the Arduino IDE over here. So let's check the file that we have the .hex file. So here it is, marlin.ino based on this file here. Mega, the type of your board and the file type. Hex. Next is to upload this file by using PSFTP, the party SFTP. So I'm going to launch another party SFTP over here. PSFTP, it is included with the party software suite as well. So the connection over here is to use open and then the host name. Over here, we are going to use the IP address. Open. 192.168.0.230 Enter, it will ask for login credential Verify that you are on the working directory where you want to upload the file LS, I want to upload to this Marlin folder over here I'm going to change directory to Marlin over here, I already have one of the 
hex file I'm going to delete that okay verify that once more and as there are no dot hex file so what are we going to do is to copy the file path click on top of this navigation the address over here Control C to copy and then we are going to use the command put 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 and then double colon no it's not double colon it's double quote sorry and then Control V to paste it backslash and then paste in the file here it is case sensitive or either you can just rename and copy the whole name and paste it over here also can or you want to type it yourself close the double quote again and enter it is being uploaded so let's check once more ls it has been uploaded successfully so this one we can either close this psftp or we can just ignore it so currently we are back to the SSH here is the crucial part we are going to use this AVR dude software here AVR dude P is the bot type we are going to use M2560 means that Mega2560 and the port capital P slash dev slash tty usb 0 dash c is the compiler type we're going to use wiring what else dash capital d this one is very important because without this capital d you are unable to flash the firmware by using the dot hex and then dash capital u followed by this flash colon w colon the location of the hex file so we are going to use the folder marlin you can use tab to complete that on psftp you cannot use the tab to complete the sentence or the thing we're going to use the marlin dot mega dot hex over here so press enter it will start flashing you can see onto the LCD panel it starts producing a white blocks there so what we have to do is just wait for the process to finish okay AVR dude done thank you it says so verify that your 3d printer has been successfully flashed so we are going to start the service again the octoprint service sudo oct service octoprint start so it has been started the printer should be connected through the octoprint by itself and restart itself so currently the octoprint has been resumed the service has been resumed back to normal about this the guide is also available on the octoprint official github page there but the command for the avr dude is kind of lengthy and this is by far the simplest one that i am able to experiment with i tried without the port the dev tty usb 0 i'm unable to flash the firmware so you need to specify the port as well and the dash capital D over there so I'm going to wrap up help me share this video if you found this knowledge 
very helpful for you guys give me a thumbs up if you like this video thumbs down if you don't like this video do check my other video if you haven't subscribed to me please do so down there and support me on patreon as well ashraf signing out